Okay, I did promise to keep people up to date about the business stuff. The first thing I want to say is, although I've got stubble here, it's not from laziness or something, I'm actually growing a winter beard. Um, I don't normally get the opportunity to actually do it, so <laughs> I'm doing it while I'm here at home and not in front of anybody where I wouldn't be able to do this. Um, because obviously I can wear t-shirts and stuff at home, but when I'm doing the business stuff, I have to wear a suit. Um, so business-wise, what's been going on? First thing, the outsourcing stuff is still neither here nor there. Um, I've had a few people say, oh, I want a business partner, whatever, and then they disappear because of, for whatever reason, whether they see it's hard work or whatever, I don't know. But I won't chase people because the fact is if you can't be bothered to keep in touch at day one, then when things are difficult, it's going to be a waste of time because you're very likely to disappear. So, okay, fine, I ain't bothered. Um, but the key elements here is we already have the building, we have the computers, we have the network, everything's up and, up and running. We just need clients. So with the right business model coming forward, we can actually work with them. Um, and ideally, I want to move away from telemarketing, telesales, etc., and move more on to uh, pro process of elimination type stuff, like when your router's not working for your computer uh, and your internet. So you'd actually phone up and go, oh, it's not working. I've just reached it on and off again, all that sort of stuff. Basic stuff, but at the end of the day, it's bread and butter stuff with very little to go wrong. It's normally price and just quality of service. Um, the dog food stuff is still up in the air. It's getting to the point I'm just going to push it to one side um, because I'm reliant on other people. So if they don't actually do it, then I, I can't do much with it um, because they have the supply. I haven't got that direct contact. So it's a bit of a bit of a pain at the same time it's allowed me to have a look at warehousing and other bits and pieces because um, I investigated it all to see what's available locally and I can see a potential for a certain type of business but I can't afford it at the moment because um, going into that would cost me I'd probably say about 150,000 euros um, would it be profitable the answer is yes would it be easy to do the answer is yes um, would I like to invest 150,000 euros of my money um, without a guaranteed success at this moment? No. Um, so that goes to one side. Um, it'll probably develop over time. I've got to look at logistics and stuff. I've got people traveling to and from the UK with trucks. So getting stuff on the back of a truck isn't a problem. Um, this is, it's just the expense of taking on a big warehouse and then filling it <laughs> after that the rest is easy um what was it uh build it and they shall come it's as simple as that um so there's that been doing some stuff on websites um i've got a website which i think is going to take me about another month to finish it but once that's running within the next four months it should should start producing about three hundred dollars a month for the next ten years and it's fully automated once it's finished um what else have i got going on the video stuff you you can see i'm producing a lot more varied videos at the moment um purely to keep the interest going not just for you for me because although i do talk about the philippines if i've got a lot of questions being asked to me i'd rather just teach somebody something useful um i mean agar's still available to film stuff so what what happened with agar filming his first thing well the, f the the funny thing is it was all to do with the bullet in the bag scandal um because in the philippines there were, was a rise of bullet amulets whether they're, they're on a key ring whether around the neck etc um, these were actually supposed to protect people and they seem to have arisen from the 70s or probably maybe even earlier. But they used to be vendors outside the churches and stuff. So he spent time looking for them. I said, I did say to him, find something interesting. If you can't find that, do you know, just film everyday life because I can clip, crop, discuss, whatever the subject is. Um, but 
in the end, he couldn't find anything. So, on, relating to the amulet, so he hasn't produced anything yet. A little bit of a setback, but at the same time, uh, I'll have a chat with him this week. Because there's, there's loads of stuff that um, Aga's got access to that even I would struggle to get access to. It's just that he knows everybody. So there's some interesting stuff he can actually put forward. Uh, so what else have we got? Uh, the Tesol stuff I'm going to start delving into. I, I did say on my last video I was actually doing it. I was actually waiting for something to download. Um, because... Teaching English for me isn't really an issue. It's a structure. Um, I like to have, with classroom stuff where I'm actually language training people, I'd like to know what the structure is. You know, it's got to work to a formula. These videos, as you know, are pretty random. I can't do that when I'm teaching people languages. Um, I'm not a language professor, so I need to have a structure to it. And that's the bit I've been waiting to work out. Well, waiting on to give me a structure because once I have a structure, I can analyze it and see if I can improve it, run with it, or if it's crap, and start from scratch and find something else. Um, but that's what I've been waiting on. Uh, what else have I been doing? I've been traveling around a little bit more. Um, doing a bit more family stuff, because because it's Christmas been cutting out work a little bit because I want to spend time with April and the kids um, doing some of the Christmas stuff as you've probably seen with the, the chocolate Santas um, but also it's cold you know there's because it's well, I say cold it's not really cold it's about 22 degrees it's not cold cold um, but we're having um, with it being sort of like out of season, should we say? Things are quiet. You know, there is the odd celebration of uh, carol singing and stuff, um, but there's nothing really to write home about. It's quite bland at the moment, um, which has let me fiddle around with things like the the pie and get to grips with my camera equipment. So there is some positive side, but I'm not out cycling or anything like that at the minute because. I just don't feel like it, uh, to be honest. It, it's not the right environment for me at the minute. It's not warm enough. <laughs> Although it's sunny, it's cold in the morning, etc. And then I've got by the time the afternoon comes, I've got to go and pick the kids up anyway. So it disrupts the whole day. Beyond that, the apps that we're developing, the guy still hasn't come back to me, and I'm frustrated on that because I was trying to avoid actually learning how to program the apps um, because it's not something I need all the time. So it take a lot of investment of my brain power and time for something that has the potential to generate a little bit of interest in revenue but it's not going to be the be all and end all um, because let's face it, every man in these dogs building an app these days, which sort of saturates the market beyond belief. Um, but there is other software out there. I'm looking to market within the FM industry. I'm starting to push stuff in the FM industry as well. Um, I've got a contract coming through next year at the start of next year, which may even carry me through for the next two years if the work's right. Um, we're still in negotiations, but if that goes through, I'm expecting the funding will carry me through for the next two years, and there's possibly stuff coming up in the Middle East as well. So the consultancy stuff's still busy. Pretty much everything's busy. The ones I was hoping to make my life easier, like the dog food, etc., is still not developing the way I want so hey ho not a lot I can do about it but as you can see there's lots of irons in the fire because one of the key elements here is getting one of them to work because you throw a lot of things out there throw a lot of ideas and something starts working then focus on that because that'll be the one that will fly you know because once that starts working it can fly, and then you might find, okay, it's running. I don't really need to put a lot more effort into it. You leave it running, making you money, then you swap onto something else and just keep everything going and start building everything up slowly. Um, so that's where I'm at, at the moment. Um, financially, 
I'm only about five dollars better off than I was a month ago. Uh, that's five dollars every month, by the way, not five dollars in total. <laughs> uh, but hey ho, you can't. It, it's not wasted time. These things do take time, and what you find is they suddenly do this. Uh, because something sort of like snaps and it just all starts making money. So it does take a lot of time and effort to get it going, but if it was easy, everybody would do it. I mean, that that's the key element here, and this is one of the things... I'll do some more videos on the business stuff after this one, because this is my update on where I am business-wise. Yeah.